Father, Mother, God, we ask at this time to bring the highest information in for all of our soul growth. As always, Father, surround us with your love, light, healing, wisdom, and truth. We call forth the energy of Mary Magdalene and Jeshua as they step forward to assist us in deepening our faith to our own soul. In this we thank thee, and so it is. Greetings, dear daughters of light and dear sons of light. Yes, it is I, Jeshua. I come to you upon this most auspicious day to honor your beautiful souls and to honor the beautiful energy of the essence of that which you are. Today, as you begin to deepen your connection to your own soul, and as you begin to deepen your connection to faith, that you are divinely guided by your own soul. With each breath that you take, then begin to allow yourself to begin to feel this connection in a most profound and most beautiful way. And so, dear sons and daughters of the light, I ask you to take a deep inhaling breath and begin to center into the energy of your own soul. Begin to breathe into the energy and the essence, into your heart, beginning to tap into your own soul, beginning to feel the energy and the essence of your own divine power. And as Mary and I stand with you, we both hold what we call the frequency and the template for each of you to merge into your own oneness, into the wholeness and to the unity that your beautiful soul is seeking to return to love. With each breath that you take, we ask you to begin to deepen your connection, your energy into your own soul as you begin to feel and trust within yourself. Beginning to deepen your connection with faith and hope that you are truly connected to the energy of oneness, to all that is. And so I ask you, dearest children of the light, to once again begin to consider and to reconsider your soul and that which your individual souls are calling each of you to do at this time. Each of you have your own innate wisdom. Each of you have your own internal guidance. Each of you are holding the frequency of divine love within your own soul matrix. And know at this time that the essence of peace and the energy of love and the abiding light of God's force field will bring forth the trajectory of your own soul into the next level of your soul and evolutionary pathway. With each breath that you take, you are deepening your own connection to yourself. And so we say, as you hold this frequency, begin to realize that you have more power than you can imagine yourself to carry. As you begin to deepen your faith within your soul and the trajectory of your life stream, your soul is guiding you moment by moment by moment, even if you are not aware on a conscious level that your soul is the guiding force that is dictating and guiding your life. Your beautiful spirit, your beautiful soul, the essence and the matrix of you in your divine perfection is now being held, as they say, in the palm of your own hands. Can you begin to fully appreciate and hold faith that you are the master of your own destiny, you are the creator of your own life stream, 
simply that you are not a victim to circumstances, that you are not a victim to what is happening within the world, and that you are truly a master. That each of you are holding the frequency of what you wish to create moment by moment by moment in your stream of consciousness. And the vibration and the energy of faith is a powerful force that will simply allow you to shift your consciousness into love. We speak of this frequently during these troubled times because this is what is shifting upon your planet. This is indeed the shift to return to love for this planet. We continue to reinforce this thought form for each of you to begin to truly feel a greater connection to yourself, to your own soul, to your own power, and to the frequency of love in which you were created, holding faith within yourself deepening your faith within your own soul so that you can truly know that you are the master of your own ship. During our lifetime, Mary and I understood about going into what we call the cave of creation, going in to the center of the earth, and allowing our spirits and our souls to be renewed in the cave of creation. And there we began to deepen our faith in our connection to ourselves. Where we began to feel this energy of nurturance. Where we began to feel the strength of our own souls as we could truly feel the connection to Mother Gaia and feel this strength within our own physicality. It was needed and it was necessary in our time as I prepared for my crucifixion. It is also needed for each of you at this time as you prepare for the shift of change upon this earth plane. The planet is undertaking a massive transitional state of being and the humans the earthly population is indeed confused. And you see, during these transitional times and for the ascension of this planet and all of creation, this energy is indeed quite confusing for many. Is why we are bringing to your attention for you to deepen your connection to your own soul so that you know the truth of what is your truth. That you begin to live in this state of divine grace. And that you are able to live and to navigate your life from the perspective and for the energy of the faith of your own soul. That you are being divinely guided moment by moment by moment Regardless, as we have said before, what is happening within the external world, you are able to move forward into your life and your soul evolutionary pathway with grace and ease, without obstruction. Not allowing the outer circumstances of the earthly world to dictate to you how you are going to operate in your life how you're going to respond to life. And certainly not to affect your level of peace. Because this is an important time, as we have said, to return to love, to return to peace, to return to the still point. What is why it is indeed very important, dearest children of the light, Go into the cave of creation and allow yourself to feel this connection to your own soul. 
And so I will step back and my Mary will lead you into a meditation into the cave of creation. And we thank you, Christ. And this we are so grateful. Greetings, my sons and daughters of light. Yes, it is I, Mary Magdalene. As Joshua has said, we have come to help assist you to move into the consciousness and to the space of tranquility as you truly begin to deepen your connection to your own soul. And so as Joshua and I take you into the cave of creation, we ask that you leave your troubles behind, allow your mental mind to be placed aside and simply surrender to the energy of love as if you're going on a magic carpet ride and the miracles and the magic and the wonderment of entering into another dimensional time and space and frequency will assist you to find peace and happiness. And so I ask you, dearest one, once again to take another deep breath and begin to truly begin to breathe in the energy of the white light of God as if we are all taking our hands one by one by one and we are going into the cave of creation, into the center of the earth. And there we are nurtured, we are encapsulated in love, and we are recalibrated into the energy of our own soul matrix where we are returning to balance, harmony, and peace. And so if you so shall, please allow me to take your hand one by one by one. We will hold hands. We will go into the cave of creation. And we will feel the magnificence of the love of the Earth Mother as she nurtures our soul, soothes, our mind and restores and helps us to return to balance. So now as we enter in to this beautiful what we call web of light as if we are in this most beautiful place that you've ever seen and the sounds and the lights and the smells are heavenly, as if you were simply in the womb of your mother's womb and you were being recreated. You were being reborn, rebirthed, rejuvenated. And the silence is deafening, as they say, as there is a stillness in the cave of creation that allows you to begin to listen to your own soul. So take a deep breath and begin to feel the silence and begin to feel the energy and the essence of love as you are nurtured and brought forth into this place of peace. Nurtured and yes, embodied and encoded with what we call stillness. As if everything is being put into a standstill, as everything has stopped momentarily, and all you feel is stillness quietness as you're able to deepen your connection to your soul. And so with each breath that you take, begin to hold the energy inside of yourself that this is truly a gift that has been gifted to you upon this day. A beautiful gift. 
as you enter into this state of grace, that truly all is in order and all is as it should be, that you have entered into this beautiful state of grace, all is in order and all is as it should be. You truly feel the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you, the presence of God watches over you, wherever you are, God is and all is well. And so as you allow yourself to feel the silence, even if it is momentarily transitory, beginning to feel this peace enter into your heart and a calmness coming over you. As you begin to feel and trust your own soul. As you begin to listen to the still, quiet voice from within that allows you to ascertain and to guide you in your life. Now more than ever, it is of great importance to begin to listen. So today, dearest ones, can you feel, sense, and trust within your own soul. Today, letting go of a bit of your ego, your personality, and trusting that you are divinely guided. And with each breath that you take, you are deepening, truly deepening your connection here in the cave of creation to the essence of your being. So today as you feel this energy and you feel this magnificence, you have entered into a beautiful state of grace, a transitory place, perhaps, but nevertheless, this is of great importance as you have gifted yourself this moment in time to trust that regardless of what you may feel, if your life feels stagnant, confusing, unproductive, perhaps even boring, whatever it is you're sensing, trust that today the soul is being renourished and being renewed and that what is occurring for you is an enrichment of your soul. And despite your human mind and your human fears and frailties, you can now begin to deepen your connection and faith to your own soul. That you will trust in this as the guiding light. Moment by moment by moment, you are being divinely guided. And here in the still point in the cave of creation, you are being divinely anchored into the energy of all that is. You are being rooted and connected to your own God essence. that the beauty of your own soul is grounded here in the cave of creation. That you are being rejuvenated, restored, renewed, as if this is a time to take time out and to restore the true essence of your being. Because what you are being called to do in this new time period in this new ascension, into this new earth, as new earth beings, you are being called to access 
aspects of your soul, your soul fragments, your different lifetimes, your parallel lifetimes, your past, future, present aspect of your soul into the now. As if you are now integrating all that you've ever been, all that you shall ever be, into this moment of now, so that you are strengthened both mentally, emotionally, physically, and energetically. That you're becoming stronger within your own sense of self, therefore letting go of any doubts, insecurities, any fears, and truly trusting in your own soul. For you see, your soul has guided you through incarnations of time, from the beginning of the inception, when you chose to come to planet Earth. Your soul has guided you moment by moment, lifetime by lifetime, and even in this moment, your soul is communicating to you through feelings, through thoughts, sensations. So we are assisting you to be able to connect to the truth of who you are. It was what was necessary during our time to survive. For Jeshua to physically survive and for me to mentally survive. All that we had to go through. If we had not trusted within our soul, we certainly would not have been able to move through our physical lives as well as we had done. Because our humanness, our frailties as human beings, was indeed a challenge. And so today, as you move through these challenges, you're calling your soul to assist you, to strengthen you, to guide you. For yes, your soul knows exactly what is happening for you even if your personality and your consciousness, your mental mind, tries to tell you something different. But you are being guided. And you are truly, truly supported. So that's why Joshua and I have chosen to take you into the cave of the creation today to deepen this connection. Because many of you will be asked, we call insurmountable task, as they say, that you may, you may not think that you were prepared to do or ready to do. You may be called upon to be leaders and to let your light shine, holding your energy for other people to feel your strength, to see your wisdom as you share your truth, as you assist others in this ascension process during these difficult times of this rebirthing of one level to another. We are going through a rebirthing process. Mother Earth is rebirthing herself. Humanity is rebirthing themselves. And truly what is happening, people are letting go of the false beliefs. And yes, as we have said before, the collective consciousness fear that has been with humanity since the time of separation is rampant upon your earth plane. And you are here to stay in balance. You are here to deepen your faith and your connection to your own soul so that you do not move into this fear, but you stay focused in love. And so today as we allow you to go into this incubation, into the cave of creation. Your heart is open. Your mind is healed. And the love that is being brought forth to you is our gift unto you. And so now, take another deep inhaling breath and allow yourself to begin to truly embody this frequency in the stillness, in the quietness, knowing that your soul will recalibrate itself 
and your mental mind and your physical body can then respond and your emotions can respond as well. And so as Jeshua and I stand here and we place our hands over your heart, may you deepen this connection to the truth of who you are, feeling the love, feeling the love, feeling the love. Truly, you are connected to all that is. And so now, dearest ones, as you begin to slowly begin to store, and as we begin to leave the cave of creation, very quietly and very silently, we take each other's hands and we move upward in to the surface of the earth, protecting your energy field with a pink bubble of light, so that you are surrounded energetically with a pink bubble of light. as you quietly emerge from the cave of creation and return back into your consciousness, into your physicality, back onto the surface of the planet, you will have a renewed sense of strength and vigor. And there, you will feel the power of who you truly are. And there you'll be able to move forward and to carry forward all the love that you have now embodied and remain at peace as you have returned to love, deepening your faith and your connection to your own soul. And so truly, dearest ones, allow your heart to open to yourself. Give thanks to yourself. Give thanks the energy of the cave of creation to Mother Earth, giving honor to all of your fellow brothers and sisters who have joined you, who also are a part of this sojourn of energy. So today, as you feel this strength, begin to deepen your faith within yourself, that at any moment of any time, you may enter into the cave of creation with permission and we will help to guide you there so that you can return to stillness, peace, and quiet and hold tranquility upon your soul. And so, dearest ones, feel the love, feel the love, feel the love, and give thanks to yourself that you have gifted yourself this beautiful gift upon this most auspicious day. And as your heart opens, and to feel this connection to your true divinity. Go now, my children, be at peace, be at peace, be at peace, and truly know that you are loved. Love beyond measure, love beyond comprehension, truly know that you are loved. And open your heart to this divine grace and feel the energy and the essence of the love that you are. Go oh, now, my children, be at peace as Joshua and I stand with you. We hold the template of divine sacred balance for your own soul as you move forward into this time as a new earth being, fully renewed, fully restored as you return to grace. Go oh, now, my children, be at peace. And we thank you, Mary, and we thank you, Joshua. We thank the energy of Mother Gaia, the energy of the cave of creation. We thank the great creator and all life forms that support us as we thank all of our souls for stepping forward and being renewed today so that may we return to deepening our faith and our connection to ourselves, to our own soul, and feeling the strength to carry on with our own soul journey as we have been guided and instructed to do by the Great One. In this, we thank thee, and so it is.